Turkey has shown support for the Palestinian cause, aligning itself with China's stance on the matter. However, Turkey has faced criticism for labeling Israel as inhumane, which has led to questions about inconsistencies in the U.S. response. Some argue that the U.S. holds a double standard by not similarly condemning actions, such as the Israeli military operations in Gaza. The U.S. has faced criticism for granting Israel a considerable degree of freedom in its actions against Palestinians while dismissing criticism from other nations. This raises concerns about whether countries will be discouraged from voicing their opinions in the face of such criticism. In this video, we will delve into why Turkey accuses Israel of engaging in inhumane actions and explore the basis for this claim. We will also examine the perspectives of the international community on the matter. During a speech to his party and parliament, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan strongly criticized Israel, going so far as to label it a terror state. This condemnation came at a time when Israel was conducting a military campaign against the Palestinian armed group Hamas in the Gaza Strip. Erdogan accused Israel of carrying out what he deemed to be the most treacherous attacks in human history and claimed that the West provided unwavering support to Israel. The ongoing conflict between Israel and Hamas has heightened tensions in the region, prompting various global leaders to express their concerns and perspectives on the matter. Erdogan's characterization of Israel as a terror state adds another layer of complexity to the already intricate geopolitical landscape. Through his speech, Erdogan strongly criticized Israel for what he perceives as extremely deceitful and harmful attacks. This rhetoric reflects Erdogan's deep concerns about the situation in Gaza and his dissatisfaction with Israel's military actions. The conflict in Gaza originated with rocket attacks by Hamas, the Palestinian armed group, and has resulted in civilian casualties, raising global concerns about the humanitarian impact of the conflict. Erdogan's criticism also sheds light on his belief that Israel receives support from Western powers, which he sees as implicating them in what he considers unjust actions. The strained relationship between Turkey and Israel predates the current conflict, with tensions escalating after the Mavi Marmara incident in 2010. This incident involved Israeli forces intercepting a Turkish flotilla attempting to break the Gaza blockade, resulting in the deaths of nine Turkish activists. Erdogan's strong condemnation of Israel and his portrayal of it as a terror state reflect his deep concerns about the situation in Gaza and his discontent with Israel's military actions. These remarks underscore the complexities of the geopolitical landscape and highlight the strained relationship between Turkey and Israel. Erdogan's strong position against Israel not only reflects his foreign policy, but also has implications within Turkey, resonating with a significant portion of the Turkish population who see him as a defender of Palestinian rights. Moreover, Erdogan's criticism may impact regional alliances and partnerships. Different global leaders have reacted differently to Erdogan's characterization of Israel, with some expressing agreement with his sentiments and others disagreeing with the use of such strong language. Finding a diplomatic solution to the conflict between Israel and Hamas is a challenge for the international community, and Erdogan's remarks add complexity to these efforts. Religion often plays a significant role in the geopolitical dynamics of the Middle East, including the Israel-Palestine conflict. Erdogan's strong condemnation may strike a chord with those who view the conflict through a religious lens, further intensifying the situation. Erdogan's rhetoric raises concerns about a potential escalation in an already volatile region. It is crucial for leaders to exercise caution and engage in diplomatic channels and dialogue to work towards a peaceful resolution, avoiding actions that could exacerbate tensions. Labeling Israel as a terror state reflects the depth of emotions and geopolitical considerations surrounding the Israel-Hamas conflict. As the international community seeks to address the underlying causes and promote peace, leaders must carefully choose their words and actions, ensuring they do not worsen an already delicate situation. Indeed, the complexities of the political landscape in the Middle East require thoughtful approaches and a commitment to dialogue to achieve a sustainable and just resolution to the long-standing tensions in the region. Turkish President Erdogan's call for Israeli leaders to face trial for war crimes at the International Court of Justice, 
ICJ in The Hague is a bold and assertive move that reflects Turkey's ongoing criticism of Israel's military actions, particularly in relation to Hamas in Gaza. Erdogan's call for Israeli leaders to be tried at the ICJ carries significant meaning, as it showcases Turkey's commitment to holding accountable those believed to be responsible for war crimes, specifically in the context of the military actions in Gaza. At the core of Erdogan's statements is his assertion that Hamas, despite being designated as a terrorist organization by certain countries, is a legitimate political party. This aligns with Turkey's long-standing support for Hamas and its recognition of the group's electoral victory in the 2006 Palestinian legislative elections. Erdogan's position diverges from the perspectives of other nations that consider Hamas to be a terrorist organization highlighting the differing opinions regarding the legitimacy of the group. His strong language and call for Israeli leaders to face trial are partly in response to what he perceives as problematic statements from the United States. Erdogan criticizes the U.S. for labeling Gaza as a terrorist entity and providing unwavering support to Israel in its actions to quell the situation in Gaza. He argues that such statements from the U.S. contribute to the tense atmosphere in the region and necessitate a neutral response from Turkey. The relationship between Turkey and the United States has experienced fluctuations over the years, influenced by regional dynamics and geopolitical considerations. While both countries are allies within NATO, their differing positions on various Middle East issues, including the Israel-Palestine conflict, have strained their alliance at times. Erdogan's critique of the U.S.'s stance on Gaza reflects the intricate nature of international alliances and the delicate balance that leaders must navigate. In short, Erdogan's call for Israeli leaders to face trial at the ICJ signifies Turkey's commitment to accountability for war crimes. His assertion of Hamas's legitimacy and criticism of the U.S.'s stance on Gaza reflect the complexity of differing opinions and international alliances. Under the leadership of Erdogan, Turkey has consistently expressed support for the Palestinian cause, condemning the Israeli blockade of Gaza and advocating for the rights of Palestinians. Erdogan's call for Israeli leaders to be tried aligns with Turkey's broader efforts to champion Palestinian rights and seek accountability for perceived war crimes. Different countries in the international community have responded to Erdogan's call with varying reactions. Some nations may support Turkey's position, emphasizing the importance of accountability and justice. Others may have reservations, recognizing the complexities of the Israel-Hamas conflict and the challenges involved in pursuing legal avenues to address alleged war crimes. The International Court of Justice ICG, as the main judicial body of the United Nations, plays a role in settling legal disputes between countries and providing advisory opinions on legal matters referred to it by UN bodies. Erdogan's call to bring Israeli leaders before the ICJ highlights the significance of international institutions in addressing conflicts and promoting accountability. However, seeking legal avenues for accountability in the Israel-Hamas conflict may face obstacles due to the intricate nature of the conflict and the political dynamics at play. Erdogan's firm stance has the potential to strain Turkey's relations with Israel and may also impact its relationships with other nations that hold differing views on the Israel-Hamas conflict. The call for Israeli leaders to face trial for war crimes reflects Turkey's unwavering commitment to its position on the conflict. Erdogan's strong and forceful language, in which he accuses Israel of committing genocide and implicates the United States and other Western allies in supporting Israel's actions, brings a heightened seriousness to Turkey's condemnation of Israel. The accusation of genocide evokes images of deliberate and systematic destruction of a specific group, intensifying Turkey's position on the Israel-Palestine conflict. Erdogan's explicit criticisms of the United States and other Western allies reveal a broader frustration with how the international community has handled the conflict. He argues that the support provided to Israel contributes to what he perceives as massacres and acts of genocide. Moreover, Erdogan's demand for Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu to disclose Israel's nuclear weapons adds complexity to the situation, as the issue of nuclear capabilities in the Middle East has long been a contentious topic. This demand further fuels ongoing debates surrounding Israel's nuclear program.
By boldly predicting Netanyahu's removal from office, Erdogan injects a personal and predictive element into the discourse between Turkey and Israel, adding to the charged nature of their interactions. Erdogan's criticism of the United States extends beyond its support for Israel and reflects a broader dissatisfaction with what he perceives as a failure by the United States to act responsibly in the region. The role of the United States in the Israel-Palestine conflict has been a subject of global contention, and Erdogan's outspoken stance aligns with a broader sentiment of dissatisfaction with the approach taken by the powerful nation. Erdogan's strong rhetoric, accusations of genocide, and pointed criticisms of the United States and other Western allies contribute to the gravity of Turkey's condemnation of Israel. His demands and predictions further complicate the situation, while reflecting broader frustrations with international handling of the conflict and dissatisfaction with the United States' actions in the region. As the global community grapples with finding a solution to the complicated and long-standing problems in the region, Erdogan's bold actions add another layer of complexity to the diplomatic intricacies surrounding the Israel-Palestine conflict. The way different actors respond to Erdogan's move will shape the narrative on pursuing justice and accountability amidst the ongoing hostilities. Erdogan's vocal support for the rights of Palestinians has consistently been a part of Turkey's foreign policy, positioning Turkey as a strong advocate for the Palestinian cause. Erdogan's recent accusations of genocide and demands for transparency regarding nuclear weapons align with this broader advocacy. However, such strong and accusatory statements raise concerns about potential consequences for diplomatic relations. Accusing a country of committing genocide and predicting the removal of its leader are powerful statements that may further strain Turkey's already fragile relationship with Israel. These statements can also impact Turkey's standing on the international stage and influence how other nations perceive Turkey's diplomatic approach. The international community has responded in various ways to Erdogan's statements. Some countries may express support for Turkey's position, echoing concerns about the Israel-Palestine conflict. Others may criticize Erdogan's language and approach, emphasizing the need for measured diplomacy and dialogue to address the complex issues in the region. Erdogan's bold actions have added complexity to the diplomatic dynamics surrounding the Israel-Palestine conflict. His strong statements align with Turkey's steadfast support for the Palestinian cause, but they also raise concerns about potential consequences for diplomatic relations and Turkey's international standing. The reactions from different nations will shape the narrative on pursuing justice and accountability in the ongoing hostilities. The conflict between Israel and Palestine is a highly intricate geopolitical challenge, marked by deep historical, religious, and political complexities. Erdogan's bold statements have added another layer of complexity to the ongoing diplomatic efforts aimed at finding a resolution. Striking a balance between the rights and grievances of both parties while promoting peace and stability in the region remains an immense challenge for the international community. The timing of Erdogan's remarks, just before his meeting with German Chancellor Olaf Scholz, adds an intriguing element to the diplomatic landscape. Germany, traditionally a staunch supporter of Israel, finds itself in a delicate position as Scholz defends his decision to engage in talks with Erdogan. Germany's historical support for Israel has been influenced by the collective memory of the Holocaust, making it difficult to navigate diplomatic challenges. The upcoming meeting between Erdogan and Scholz provides an opportunity to discuss and potentially influence Turkey's stance on the Israel-Hamas conflict. Chancellor Scholz's opposition to an immediate ceasefire aligns with the stance of the United States government, underscoring the complexity of the situation. As Erdogan and Scholz prepare for their meeting, the international community watches closely, hoping for a resolution that brings lasting peace to the troubled region. The role played by key diplomatic actors, including Turkey and Germany, is crucial in shaping the course of events and influencing the broader narrative. However, finding common ground in the Israel-Palestine conflict proves to be an enormous challenge due to the historical, religious, and political intricacies involved. Diplomats and leaders must navigate deeply ingrained narratives, carefully balancing the rights and concerns of both parties in order to reach a sustainable resolution. Germany's historical connection with Israel, 
formed in the aftermath of World War II and the Holocaust, has made it a steadfast supporter of Israel. However, the current situation poses a challenge for Germany as it strives to maintain its historical alliances while engaging with leaders who are critical of Israel's actions. In such times of diplomatic tension, the need for open channels of dialogue becomes crucial. Meetings between leaders like Erdogan and Scholz provide valuable opportunities for honest discussions, allowing nations to express their concerns, seek common ground, and contribute to the search for a peaceful resolution. The international community acknowledges the significance of diplomatic efforts and holds hope for progress in achieving a lasting sense of peace in the region. The ongoing conflict between Israel and Hamas has raised concerns about the inadequate infrastructure and limited access to essential services in the region. To achieve a sustainable resolution, diplomatic initiatives must prioritize addressing the need for a two-state solution. The international community closely monitors the situation, united in its desire for peace and stability in the region. As leaders engage in diplomatic discussions, it is important for the global community to actively support efforts that prioritize dialogue, understanding, and a fair and lasting resolution. Recent events such as Erdogan's bold statements and Germany's delicate diplomatic balancing act highlight the complex challenges involved in seeking peace in the Middle East. Addressing historical ties, geopolitical complexities, and humanitarian concerns, leaders must work towards a resolution that tackles the underlying causes of the conflict and paves the way for a more stable and peaceful future in the region. The commitment of the international community to peace is crucial in creating an environment where dialogue and understanding prevail over discord and conflict. We appreciate your valuable insights and welcome your thoughts on this matter. The question of whether Turkey's claim about Israel is valid is a multifaceted issue that requires careful consideration. Similarly, the long-standing debate surrounding the United States' support for Israel has been the subject of much discussion. It is important to seek answers that contribute to a fair and lasting resolution. If you are interested in staying updated on global developments, please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel. As you already know, this is Think Rich Africa, and on China's remarkable progress and its increasing influence in the world, we will be providing exclusive videos, therefore stay tuned for more updates.